Hi there. I hope you can all hear me. I hope there's somebody watching. Um, this is a bit of a last minute um, decision to do the live video today. Um, as most of you know, I don't really like doing these. So, uh, out of my comfort zone a bit. Move that other way. Um, yeah, just a very quick one today. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks now. So, I thought, right, while I'm, I'm here in the shop, uh, because I'm not normally in on Mondays, but getting the painters outside. Um, I want to talk to you about painting tiles. Um, I hope this up. Um, I had a customer who was painting her bathroom tiles, and I thought, well, I need to kind of do this myself. Um, I need to paint a tile with fusion mineral paint, just to kind of see. Does it go on well? Is it going to stick? All that kind of thing. You know, I hear other people doing it, but it's nice to do it yourself. Uh, it's better to promote something when you tried it and experienced it than, than just what other people say. So I have this tile at home, spare tile for my bathroom. Let's see this. I have a big one. Um, so hopefully none of my tiles break at home, because I think I only have two of these spares. I've just painted over one. So... Um, what I did, I might just put the camera down so you're not looking at me and you can look at the, look at the tile. I don't know how this camera works. I've got, maybe that's not so good. Um, what I did, um, this tile, you can feel a texture on it, but it's smooth at the same time. That probably doesn't make much sense. But there is a slight texture, but obviously whatever glaze is put on over the tile is quite smooth. So I thought, right, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint in two ways. Uh, Fusion do a product, uh, product sorry, called Ultra Grip. It's like a primer, it's clear. Um, but it adheres very well to things maybe that are shiny, like glass, um, like a, sh a shiny, you know, some of the, the gloss kitchen cabinets, things like that. So the product Ultra Grip is for that to create a good resin um, adhesion, good base. And then the bottom of the tile, I just didn't do anything. I, <laughs> bear with me a second. Hold on, this one, the painters, hold on a minute. Yeah, I think you're good enough. Have you out of it? Mm. Do you need much? Can you scoop it out of the pot? Um, well, just to give it a second coat, you know. Ah, right. Yeah, it's just, no, we just need a touch, it's just, if I throw off doing a proper skin on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if it's skin, it's going to look, you know. Yeah, right, okay. yeah. all right. Sorry about that, I am back. Um, uh, David and Brendan are painting outside of the shop. And they just need some more paint. Um, right, okay. Sorry, back again. Um, yep, yeah, so I painted the tile. I did one half with Ultra Grip and one half without anything, uh, basically. That's it there. And if I just kind of get a tool. I'll use a scraper. Um, and basically, I just wanted to see how well it adhered. Um, I did a stencil design on it as well, but that was just to kind of fancy it up. All this was actually done with a roller. Because um, if you were actually painting tiles, you'd want to do it with a roller, a little mini roller, rather than a brush anyway, because it'd be quicker for a start. Um, so I'm just going to show you actually. See here the edge. As you can see, there is just no fudge in that. Even here with the ultra grip edge there, and obviously you wouldn't have an edge if you painted your your floors anyway, because I have this edge. It makes a good. See here, I just I can't get it off. It is just stuck solid. Um. So yeah, so you could paint you could paint floor tiles basically. You can paint your kitchen tiles, your backsplash. Um. Those are basically what you can do. If you have any questions, um, by all means, I know this, this live was, wasn't really planned. So if you have any questions when you're watching this later, by all means, comment um, and, and ask me anything you like. 
I'm just going to show you again. There's just no budging this paint. It's just, I've got this nice edge that I can peel it off with, and it's just not budging at all. Um, so, get yeah, floor tiles, um, bathroom tiles, even your kitchen tiles. Now, obviously, if you do, were to paint tiles and then you're walking on them, floor tiles, you would have to be careful for a couple of weeks. Um, maybe put down a bit of cardboard or just make sure people take their shoes off just while the paint is curing and really fully hardening. Um, I popped a bit of varnish over the top of this, but if you were painting, say, the floor tiles, um, maybe um, a specialist floor varnish would be good. Just protect your, top, uh, your, your paintwork, stop it scratching, um, basically. But as you can see, when it, when it, comes, to, when it comes to sticking and not chipping, um, it works brilliantly um, and let's say this was a stencil used with a roller um, over the paint so you can just slightly feel the detail there but I'll try on that actually yep if you can see that it is just not budging it is stuck like glue um, so I'm really pleased with how that went um, it's good to test these things and, and, and you know you don't want to test these things and recommend them to people um, without being tried and tested so I'm probably waffling now anyway so if you have any questions and you're watching this later on by all means uh, pop in a comment ask a question and I will get back to you all right thanks and have a good week bye